What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marina and I want to show you something really neat real quick. This is just a video to make you think about how clean your regulator is getting whenever you use just plain fresh water to clean your gear. Now if you saw our video from yesterday, you'll notice that we were diving down in a creek area and there was a lot of sand and grit that we were dealing with as we was trying to expose a pump system. Now I've got Mr. Brian here, this is one of our assistant instructors. He's going to very quickly wash through his regulator and show you just a typical cleaning of the regulator. Then what I'm going to do is actually break it down and we're going to see just how well it got cleaned. So Brian, if you want to, go ahead and start cleaning it up. So he's just doing what we do after any normal dive. He's just washing through his reg set. Just rinsing it all, fresh clean water is always using. And once he's got it, we're gonna see just how well and clean it actually becomes. So I'm gonna hand the camera off to him and then I'm gonna take his regulator. All right, so I'm just gonna look real quick and it looks like he got all the sand and the grit washed off. It looks pretty good. But what we're gonna do is actually open up the second stage here of the housing and we're gonna see just how clean he actually got it with just a little bit of water. So on this particular one, there's just a little bitty pin here that we've got to remove. I'm gonna get that pin out real quick. Okay. And now we should be able to take the faceplate of the regulator and simply unscrew it. And I can already tell right away that should be extremely smooth and it's not. There is a lot of grip to that. And I'm gonna assume that's because that little washing that he did was nowhere near enough. And I can see some grit up around the faceplate. You can see the grit there inside the threads. And that's what that grip was. So where it should have been smooth, you can see the dirt. All right, we're gonna take the diaphragm out here, take the little retaining ring, and then looky there. Look at his diaphragm. Now this is just from a, a basically an hour long dive that we did yesterday. And look at all the grit, the dirt, the grime, every single bit of that. Even from a typical washing, what we would typically do after any given dive, all that is still left. Now here's the problem with that. Not only can it damage the regulator, it can also damage the diaphragm. If this grit and stuff starts tearing away at this diaphragm, eventually he's gonna get a hole in it and every breath he takes is obviously gonna be water and not air. All right, let's look on through the second stage here. Obviously it's there on the hose as well. Of course, that's probably from my hand, but it's all in these threads here of the housing. So when you clean your regulator, it may still not be clean. You're gonna have to do a good thorough cleaning of your reg whether you're in salt water, fresh water, clean water, dirty water. And we wanna make sure that we get all that grit and that grime out of there because if you don't, it will damage your regulator. And in general, this ain't scuba gear, this is life safety gear. So I'm gonna get his second stage cleaned up really good, make sure all the grit and grime and the sand particles are completely out of those threads. We're going to do the same thing with his diaphragm here. Look at all that dirt in there. Okay. We're going to wash it out really good. Wash the ring out here. Purge. Of course, it's retaining ring. And then we'll get this guy assembled back up for him. I'm actually going to be washing his alternate out too and trying to get it clean. But guys, I just want you to see when you think that your regulator's clean, it probably still isn't. You need to be very thorough when you wash your gear because really, it's nothing really important. It's just your life. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you understand why it's so important that we take good care of our gear. And yeah, we do a quick washing after we get out of the pool or we get out of the lake. 
but that doesn't necessarily mean that your regulator's cleaned out. If it's been a while since your regulator's been cleaned, take it by your local SSI facility and let them go through it and wash it out really well. And who knows, it may be time to rebuild your regulator anyways. But guys, if you enjoyed this video, do me two favors. Definitely smash that like button and also share it for me as well. If you got any questions, please put it down in the comment section below and I'll try to answer it the best I can. As always, guys, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.